have you heard anywhere that they've bullied an edo girl before if that thing is not generating me money you won't catch me wasting my time on that thing okay so i've seen a few of them but <laughs> you cannot bully me i can never ever ever do social media full time if you tell me to pick between a nine to five and social media guys i'm sorry i'm going to pick my nine to five like i stayed 25 years in nigeria and i have never gone in a state of depression that i will be looking for a therapist <laughs> hey guys good day my name is joy itoha and welcome to my channel if you're new you're so so welcome and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you can join the joyous family guys yes yes we have a name <laughs> the joyous family so please don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you can join this amazing joyous family and also um like this video if you end up enjoying this video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i love you all so much and thank you for sticking by okay all right guys so in today's video i have a q a to answer and um as i'm currently filming this video this is the first week of february but um as of january last month made it like my first year of being in the uk and i know that a lot of you all subscribe to me you know during that journey during that during this past one year and i'm so so grateful for that so um i'm not sure i have done like a q a or something i reached out to y'all on my community tab to just ask me any question guys i use the word any because i i was open to just you know getting any any question at all but um when i took a peep of the questions <laughs> i was seeing more of all these immigration uk questions which honestly guys i've tried my best to shy away from because ah oh my, this past one year this uk immigration laws and rules and everything really really deals with my mental health and um i think i'll talk about that more in like a life update video just talking about how my past year has been the first question i'm going to answer <laughs> is from my husband and it's weird because why is this guy asking me this question but i'm just going to answer by the way so the question is um what do you do for fun which is funny because you know what i do for fun but i'm just going to answer that on here um one thing i love to do for fun is i love to watch videos okay um that can be watching movies on netflix or amazon prime or maybe watching like a a show on YouTube like YouTube is like my television like I love to watch videos but although this year I'm trying to like build a new habits of doing like just building habits that are off like off the screen you understand so I'm someone that um, I don't like to read books <laughs> if you give me a book to read i'm literally going to sleep off i'm not going to lie that is like my sleeping medicine but i'm trying to build habits that are off the screen okay like reading books and maybe going to the gym more consistently because that's something that oh my god i tried to do it last year but ah, i don't know I'm giving myself a goal of reading a book a month at least let me start from that and maybe in one of my vlogs i will show you guys the books i got okay and yeah i will see how that goes so the next question here i don't know if i should call um their names but i think i will call this person's name because she asked for a shout out um i have this question from amarachi underscore unfiltered and she said why do you love your space so much and could you please give me a shout out on youtube <laughs> So, okay, first of all, let me just give you the shout out. Hi, Amarachi Unfiltered. You guys can go check her out. Check her out. I don't know if she's on YouTube, but you guys go check her out. So, um, she asked, why do you love your space so much? I don't know. Guys, let me tell you something. Oh, let me just tell you something. I am a very, very reserved person. I love my privacy. I love my, you know, my peace of mind. I just feel social media can be a lot that is why i am the most active here on youtube i just feel i can handle youtube okay youtube is just 
I don't know how people do it when you know they're on Instagram, they're on TikTok, they're on this, they're on Facebook, they're on they're on Twitter, and they are active on all these platforms. I don't know how you guys do it. The reason why I came on YouTube, if you all go down to like my first few videos, the reason why I came on YouTube was more about you know just finding a platform where I can express myself because I'm a very very reserved person. About a few years ago, I think if I should mention like maybe four or five years ago, I was that girl that didn't know how to say a full sentence without fidgeting or without um, being too shy to talk, honestly. Um, I just believed when you open a platform like this, like YouTube, and you talk more, you practice how to talk, you practice how to speak, you get better at that, okay? So it was more of like a learning phase for me, opening a YouTube channel. I wanted to know how to, you know, um, hold a conversation, talk, speak without being shy, being scared because I'm literally just speaking to my camera. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm even on this social media street. If you check me out on other social media platforms, you will see that I'm not so, I'm not so active on them, especially Instagram. The more subscribers you have, the more, you know, pain you have to deal from some you know trolls okay i've seen a few of them but <laughs> you cannot bully me you cannot bully me <laughs> have you heard anywhere that they bullied an edo girl before and another reason why i opened youtube was because back then i knew that youtube was a platform that can be easily monetized see i'm an edo girl okay like i am an ishan babe if that thing is not generating me money you won't catch me wasting my time on that thing okay so if i'm going to do another platform is maybe be going to be tiktok because and the reason why i'm even thinking of tiktok is because i know that okay i'm here in the uk and over here in the uk you can monetize your tiktok page i can never ever ever do social media full-time yes i can never ever i know there are people that do that do social media full-time i don't think I, I i am built for that that is why i still love to have my nine to five i feel if i am not even on social media if i'm not doing social media I am 100% happy with my 9 to 5. I know it's something that, you know, it's not really in vogue now. Like there are people that just want to make money on social media. There are people that see 9 to 5 as, you know, traditional or old school. But guys, 9 to 5 is for me. I just love the fact that, you know, it is stable and it brings in a stable source of income. This month, yeah, YouTube pays well. You know i receive you know a good amount of money from youtube adsense i can receive a good amount of money from you know working with brands but there are some months that guys there are some there are literally some months that i don't even meet up to youtube threshold okay so um what would i do on those months will i be hungry no so um i just feel if you tell me to pick between a nine to five and social media guys i'm sorry i'm going to pick my nine to five because it's just peaceful so yeah marachi i hope i've been able to answer your question and i hope you all have been able to you know get to know me a bit a little bit more like a little bit more <laughs> so yeah let me just answer some questions from youtube i have a whole lot of questions on there so please give me a moment so i have um toke underscore new c2 i love this girl by the way like i can say all the videos i have posted omg she always leaves amazing comments like i really really appreciate you toke thank you so much don't worry i see you i see you <laughs> okay and um she said thank god for this amazing journey i remembered i started from just watching all our relocation videos to subscribing and actually falling in love with this beautiful soul oh my god i love you so much girl so um continue dear and more countries to explore we love you and keep doing what you do okay this is not like a question this is just a compliment thank you so much take care like i really really appreciate y'all that watch and actually like leave comments like you guys are so so amazing thank you so much so the next person here is praise martins 9145 and um i don't know if this is a girl or um a guy and yeah this person is saying hello joy what would be your advice to someone who is considering the united kingdom as a place to study masters okay 
So for me, I would say the UK is an amazing place to come do your master's degree, but you need to like, I need to know like, what is your situation? Okay. Are you a family person or are you a single student? If you're a single student, OMG, please, 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 by all means come. I love the fact that, um, here in the UK, most master's degrees here in the UK is just one year compared to, um, some other countries that might be two years. Okay. The degree is respected worldwide like getting a master's degree in the united kingdom oh my god no be beans okay <laughs> um in terms of admission i would say it's quite easy to get an admission into a uk university number one um you don't have to pay application fees before you can apply to um a university here in the uk okay so um i think for canada um us and some other countries you have to pay an application fee which which is dicey because you might not even get an admission in those schools and um it's only normal for you to apply to like three or four schools and just hope for for you to get an admission in one of them okay the uk is not so far from nigeria compared to australia us canada so it's not so far the time zone too is also amazing um although during the winter the uk is one hour behind nigeria which is still not so bad but during spring summer the time goes back to the same time with nigeria so you can you know easily you know keep up with your friends keep up with your family without you know thinking so much about time zones okay which can kind of put a strain okay i will recommend you know coming into the uk for a master's degree any day anytime but the only problem is um if you have family it can be a bit tough because there is a ban on bringing family which ah it's 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 really hard it's really really hard something that you might have to have a conversation with with your with your partner okay if it's worth it to leave them behind and um come over here so um yeah but if you're a single student yeah definitely definitely the uk is an amazing place to come do your master's degree okay so guys the next question i have here is from joanita samuel 247 okay and she's asking what do you do and what is your job description by the way you look good thanks girl um so what do i do and what is my job description okay so um apparently recently i did like a career switch and i am a product designer and also i do youtube <laughs> and what else do i do to make money what else do i do to make money so for now it's just my nine to five and youtube and what is my job description i am a product designer okay although i haven't gotten like a you know something stable in that you know career path but i'm a product designer and i, I am also a content creator here on youtube so yeah that's what i do girl <laughs> the next question i have here is from ek toli I don't know i'm so sorry if i murdered your name but i'm so sorry so um over here this person is saying super proud of you thank you so much thank you so so much like you guys don't know how it makes me feel when when someone tells me like surely someone that i haven't met before telling me that they are super proud of me because like it makes me feel very very emotional because i don't give myself a lot of grace i don't tell that to myself like often so when i see people saying that to me like it's just like uh, thank you so much <laughs> that just say thank you so much thank you so much for being proud of me um one thing i told myself to do more this year is practicing gratitude just writing down you know like even waking up every day it's something that you should be proud of like i'm super proud of you i hope you're proud of yourself and it's been a great experience for you and yours so far thank you so much ek thank you so much like so i have the next question here from um maki maki blaze maki blaze and over here um congratulations darling i remember watching you from the relocation video and i'm stuck here as a dependent what advice will you give other student dependents hmm okay 
Okay, this is a more serious question. As a dependent, what advice will you give other student dependents out there as regards to settling down and finding their feet in the UK, especially with these new roads starting by April? CM. I think I'll talk more about this. I'll do like a life update video and just talk more about this, but <sighs> I don't like talking about things like this. Like last year dealt with me mentally, but okay. The advice I will give to other student dependents like myself, first of all, first of all, the first thing I'm going to say is that don't feel too pressured okay because there is this pressure about being a student dependent which i felt so much last year it just felt like okay i'm the dependent and um i should find um that visa sponsorship okay like i had that pressure so much last year and it kept me like in a state of depression because i was not finding that visa sponsorship job and it made me feel like i was a failure which omg guys do you know what it means to be angry at yourself guys last year i was so so angry at myself with the fact that i could not find a visa sponsorship job if you are married it can take a toll on your marriage because it's like okay one came as a student and the other person is a dependent uh, but the dependent is not able to you know find a visa sponsorship job every day this uk government they are bringing up you know one rules or the other if you don't do this before this time this is what is going to happen if you don't do it before this time this is what is going to happen i allow myself dwell in that so much last year and it took me to a state of depression like i stayed 25 years in nigeria and i have never gone in a state of depression that i will be looking for a therapist i have never Never gone in a state of depression that would make me start to have like suicidal thoughts last year was crazy for me like i was just tired of everything i was tired of you know like why did i even come into this country like i was not feeling like a failure in nigeria i had a job in nigeria i had a remote job in nigeria i was i was i was okay i was fine like coming here oh today is this oh tomorrow dependents are not allowed Next tomorrow they want to increase ihs fee i was just so so tired of everything so one thing i would just say is that please do not allow yourself to feel that pressure do your best if visa sponsorship comes fine if it does not come just do your best hustle save money for maybe postgraduates or something I, I i don't even know and most time good things come to you when you don't even think about it so please don't allow yourself feel um so much pressure okay and if you are feeling that pressure right now please seek help because it is not healthy at all like please please don't feel like you're a failure if you've not gotten a visa sponsorship you are not a failure okay just 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 leave it and everything will be all right okay everything will be all right so the other thing i would also say is that if you are looking for a job and you still not gotten a job now another thing i can advise is maybe volunteering okay try volunteering if you are looking for a certain type of job but you've not gotten it why don't you volunteer and volunteer even helps to you know while volunteering you are getting that work experience and you are also networking okay if you volunteer and you put your heart at it and you do it very very well who knows they might even retain you okay so i know about two people that that happened to you so yeah that's the advice i have for my fellow dependent if you're a fellow dependent watching me now and you have any advice whatsoever please drop in the comment section okay let me also learn even me i need advice okay <laughs> so please give us advice okay so yeah that's just it let me just go into the next question okay so the next question i have here is from clara underscore cl and she's asking do you know how to migrate to the uk as a nurse honestly i don't know how to migrate to the uk as a nurse i am not a nurse but if you check um just just search on youtube i see a lot of you know um videos like that on youtube how to migrate into the uk as a nurse there are lots of nurses that have shared their experience and their step-by-step -step process so yeah so i think you can explore that if you if i can find any i can maybe drop the link to that in the description box so maybe you can check that but um yeah just go online search okay even coming here as a student we watched you know people's experiences online and that was how we were able to come here okay so i feel it's something you can do yourself and there are a lot of nurses here in the uk that have shared you know their experiences okay so please just explore that option okay 
Okay guys, so the next question I have here is from Sekinat. This is another person that leaves a lot of comments on my videos. I recognize this name. Thank you so much Sekinat. So she's saying, hi Joy, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you and I always look forward to your videos, most especially vlogs. <laughs> Thank you so much. So my question is, for example, if you want to go for masters in Canada, is it a must to go back to Nigeria after you are done studying or you can decide to stay if you want to? Like, is there a deadline? Thank you. And I look forward to this video. Thank you so much, Sekinat. Okay, so I think she's asking if you want to, um, if she wants to go to Canada, is it a must to come back to Nigeria? Uh -uh. There are a lot of people that have gone to Canada for their masters and they stay behind. There are a lot of people that after their master's degree, they 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 get the postgraduate visa. Um, I think that is what it's called. I'm not so sure. They get the postgraduate visa that is like I think um two three years or so so i don't think it's a must to come back to nigeria if you want to fine but if you feel you want to remain in canada please there are ways to remain in canada even after your master's degree but i'm not in canada and i know there are a lot of you know canadian um content creators that talk more about that so i would advise you you know do your research but um you don't have to come back to nigeria after that you can remain in canada after you finish your master's degree there okay so guys, the next question, I have a question from Taiwo Wina 6650 oh i think it's a guy okay and he's saying congratulations joy thank you so much definitely rooting for you for you all the way oh thank you i must say i enjoy every moment of your content posted thank you so much i want to know if uk is still a very good option for my master's program considering they are unstable regulatory laws on immigrants hmm. let's not even go there as students can yeah our students can no longer come in with dependent a friend of mine living in england advised me to ignore uk and focus on usa and other countries since they are more lenient with their immigration policy would you advise i do i already started my application process but i just want to be on the safer side your advice might help thank you see yeah everybody is tired trust me i feel people that are even in the uk we are even more tired trust me i feel people still back home you have an option should i still pursue um uk or should i look at canada or should i look at australia should i look at should i look at us but we here already like a lot of us are i don't want to say already stuck here okay and now there is an issue of you know ihs fee if you want to switch to another visa the ihs fee which is the healthcare um surcharge has been increased to like 60 something percent so the money now is just crazy so even if you want to switch to um should i say a skill worker visa a five-year skill worker visa the money you'll be paying for just nhs alone is crazy so i feel this immigration policy is affecting everybody in my own opinion i'm tired i don't even know if i should advise anybody to come into the uk again i will just say pray about it i don't know because even myself as i'm inside this uk i am tired of this uk government okay so all i will just say is pray about it if you feel um usa is you know better for you you can try usa if you want to consider uk you can try uk if you're a single student you can also try uh, also the course you want to study is it a course that you know that okay it is more you know lucrative when you start to work in the us or is it more lucrative here in the uk so please just um just look at everything talk to family talk to god about it listen to your instinct and um i just pray you make the right choice okay so um i have another question here from um mimi ray so she's saying you look amazing dear uh -uh, thank you so much and please i would like to know if dependents would still be restricted from joining their partner this year hmm so okay your question i think your partner is already in the uk honestly i am not so sure i think it depends on the kind of visa your partner is i think for for care visa i think there is kind of a restriction but if your partner is like on a skilled worker visa i don't think there is a restriction on that but yeah just i would i am not so sure honestly but you can try to do more research on youtube you can check out tochi esther you can check out nanel griselda those are two women that 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 when it comes to immigration you know news they keep us you know on track on those news so i will say check them i will put your links in the description box okay 
So I have a question here from me, that's snow 9191 and this person is asking, could you please give an example on the type of question you want us to ask or can we just ask any question? Yes, you can ask any question, okay? And um, this person is asking, what was your first time experience like with a neighbor? I learned most neighbors over there are snobbish. Hmm, hmm. That is another gist. And the second one she's asking is, can you compare life in Nigeria and, and in the UK? What is it like in an every everyday life? Is it boring saying that we visit each friend easily here in Nigeria? Okay, I understand. Guys, over here, everybody practice minding their business, okay? And when you even come yourself, you blend into the society and you start to mind your business. Um, I stay in an apartment and guys, when I say, I don't even know my neighbors. I've been here in this place for, I think, a year now and I still don't know my neighbors. That's how bad it is, okay? In terms of neighbors, I don't think um, the, you know, the communal, you know, lifestyle we had back home, it's not the same over here. And I don't know if it's because I am living in an apartment, maybe it gets better if you rented like a house because when you step out of your house you can see like your neighbor house just you know beside you or maybe when you open your window you can literally see your neighbor's window so maybe um renting a house is better for that but um an apartment the only thing you see is literally your apartment okay so for me i don't even know my neighbors <laughs> And I don't know if anybody can relate. I don't know if that is bad or I don't know if it's normal, if it's the same for other people. I don't know what my neighbors look like. And um, yeah, so I don't know. What, I won't use the word snobbish. I would just say no one has that time, okay? Everybody is hustling in this country. Everybody has bills to pay. Everybody is, you know, going to work, coming back. I won't use the word snobbish. I'll just say everybody here just minds their business, okay? I would say yeah life in the UK is a bit lonely because definitely you're leaving your family behind you're leaving your friends behind and um yo making friends as an adult hey Jesus it's not easy so um I have a question here from Victoria Oinloye and um she's asking lol your last vlog came oh okay I think I understand I understand I think she asked about uh, my skincare routine and then I posted a vlog and she saw my skincare routine so hi Victoria I hope you're able to see my skincare routine so she said your last vlog came up after I asked the question regardless tell us how you maintain a good and healthy skin or is it the UK and married life <laughs> I'm not going to lie guys um, if you don't know before I left Nigeria, my skin was very, very bad. Like I was acne prone. I am still acne prone. Um, but before I left, I visited a dermatologist and, and I was on a skincare treatment that kind of helped, you know, my acne, okay? So um, I would say, yeah, it's a combination of, you know, using my skincare products and also peace of mind, okay? So I have a question here from Chioma Obina86 three eight and she's saying how old are you i am 26 years old a gen z baby 1997 okay <laughs> so guys that's it about the q and a it was a whole lot <laughs> but i'm glad i was able to answer everything um if, if i can find relevant information to the ones i wasn't able to answer properly i will leave that in the description box okay so guys if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section i think i'll be doing more q a because surprisingly i really really enjoyed this one and answering your questions okay if you enjoyed this video let me know and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye